Alright, uh, welcome back. We will explore the dungeon. This dungeon. The Catfish Mouth. Do you think the load times are slightly shorter? I think they are. I got a new SD card. And I think the load times are slightly shorter. Anyway, what I was talking about before I finished the episode was that... Um, I really, really find interesting this um, double standard in Western media for how, like, you know, nudity is... It's such a big no-no, right? Any kind of, like, showing of human body. It's such a big deal. But in the other side, like, for some reason, we are very okay with showing violence. Here we are, we have a compass now, which is quite useful, because it shows you any items in the dungeon. Nope. Alright. One of the moments I realized that, um... I realized how, how silly our, you know, our Western culture is with this, is, you know, like, this very old YouTuber, um... The angry video game nerd. Or, you know, the guy who was the angry video game nerd. Like, he would also do movie reviews. And I remember there was a movie, some Dracula, very old horror movie. I don't know what it was called. But I thought, I thought it very peculiar because the guy, when he was making a film review, right? In that film review, like, he showed... Wait, I can't get there now. He showed an, an, an insane amount of violence. Like, he could show decapitations, cutting off, uh, cutting off hands and all of that. That was all right. But then there was, like, one, one frame where there was, like, a small glimpse of a woman's breast. And, like, that part, it had to be censored. Because otherwise it would not be acceptable for, for like, the internet at the time. And that was like the moment I realized like how silly that is. Isn't that the stupidest thing ever? It's like, you, you know, you can show how they cut off the hands of people and all of the gruesome violence. But they're just like, just some human body part. It's, it's a huge no-no, you have to censor it. I don't know, I... I I don't get it. It's it's funny how our culture works. It would be very interesting to like really research into how it came to that. I guess it's Christianity, I suppose. Oh, but I did it wrong here. I'll have to reset. Oh god. This is quite a hard 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 one to get through. Because re really it is true, like, watching anime. Ah, oh, I need to be a bit faster. It is, it is, like, quite interesting how, how much... How much, like, nudity and stuff they allow in... Even, like, relatively mainstream things, right? It doesn't have to be incredibly, you know, restricted and stuff. Even like that, there there's a show called Urusei Yatsura, which is like a, it's like a normal, it's like basically The Simpsons, you know, you would, it would air on normal TV. It was a show about a boy and some alien girl, and it's like in in, in the first episode, the very first episode, like they casually show her breast, and to me it's like insane. I I can't imagine. I can't possibly imagine a Western show doing that, showing something like that. It's quite crazy. Well, there is a key here because you could hear the t t t t sound. We gotta figure out what to do to get the key. I think maybe you have to move a. 
putting the blocks in the other direction. Alright, let's do it like that. Here we go, here's the key. And let's go here. What the heck? What do I do here? I can jump? Can I throw magic on it? This is odd. Let me use the map. Maybe I'll see something. Doesn't look like there would be any blowable wall. I can't even dig here. Wait, I can. I found a rupee, which is sweet, but I have no idea what to do here, though. Maybe if I play a song? This is odd. Maybe the shape of it has something to do. It looks like a, b a little bit like a skull, I guess. Uh, I guess. I'll walk over every single field and see if anything happens, but it doesn't look like anything would happen here. Uh, although I did get the key, so it's not like this is a complete dead end. I think likely something will happen with this later on. I have to switch the button. I can go up here. I love this side-scrolling element. It gives the game like a little bit more of diversity, I think. Like it's it, it is refreshing to see the, the the perspective change a little bit. It is nice. Here we go. Let's go like this. And it's also nice that there's some boss fights in this perspective as well. There was this fight when I when I fought that anglerfish, right? That was in the side perspective as well. Since there wasn't the tone, it seems like I don't have to defeat the enemies here to get the key or anything, right? So that's one useful thing of the compass. There's the oval here, which is gonna give me a hint, but I have to get something first. The beak, right? That's a weird one. Oh, damn. What a scary enemy. Oh, oh damn. It didn't hurt him. I think you're supposed to bomb him. Okay, I can block his attacks. Okay, yes, that's right, that's right. Okay, fortunately, even though he has this huge ass sword, I can block just right, so that's fairly simple. So that makes him a very easy enemy. That's one regard in which um, this remake is a lot easier to beat. Oh, damn, but... Compared to the original game, right? Because in the original game, right now, I would actually have to switch, right? Alright, I can't beat you. I'm out of here! Hmm. Alright, that's interesting. Maybe I'll... I guess I'll have to fight him again in that other room. There were two... Uh, two dots there, right? I think. I've got what was inside this box. Come and get it if you can. 
master's call. All right, so the bastard took my item or whatever. I didn't get anything here. Shum. 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 Oh. One thing that's really satisfying is this fish. In, in Super Mario Brothers, you can't... It's really hard to defeat this fish. Unless, well, you have the flower. The fire flower. Uh, but otherwise, the fish is a very annoying enemy to deal with. So it's... When you play this game... It's actually quite satisfying because these enemies are all of a sudden so easy to defeat. Oh, that's that's actually quite difficult. Fortunately, the fire stops when they die. Whoa. You got a piece of power! You can feel the energy flowing! Alright. Can I defeat these guys with magic? Let me just check. Because you can in Link to the Past. Ooh, it's the same as in Link to the Past! Alright, that's sweet. Perfect. You caught a fairy in the bottle. That's, that's one of the best tricks in Link to the Past. Because these, uh, these fire skulls thingies, they are one of the most annoying enemies in the entire game, right? And when you figure out that you can not only beat them with this magic, but you also completely neutralize them. I don't have the key. Not only did you completely neutralize them, you turned them into a fairy, which is of course a very useful asset. I love how you can jump on the Goombas. That's, that's beautiful. It's like you're playing Mario, but with Link, which is a lot easier because you have a sword, so you can kill the fish very easy. Mm, can I push you? I can, perfect. Here as well. Especially now that I have more magic powder. And you know, not only that you get rid of the very annoying enemy, you also turn him into a fairy which heals you, so it's perfect. Up, 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 up. Ah, he's on me, that's horrible. That's annoying. Mm, I'll go here for now. Although it's hard to say where you should go. Oh, I forgot. You need to be patient with these guys. Uh, but yeah, it looks like this, this dungeon is not gonna be very easy. Uh, this is the part of the game at which it starts to get a little bit complicated. Because the previous, the previous uh, dungeons, they were fairly easy. I didn't really need to look at the map at all. It was just a walkthrough. It wasn't complicated at all. It was pretty simple. Anyway, I'll go back to the left room. If I remember correctly, there were two green dots. Which, if I'm correct, it means that uh, the skeleton should be there. Unless it had three and I don't remember correctly, which is also possible, sadly. Alright, let's try again. We need a little bit more patience with this here. Alright, easy peasy, got it. That wasn't hard at all. Now that I know what to do, it's a bit simpler. So, a couple of wax and... I wasted him, and I can go here now. Oh no, it has four. I see. My bad, my bad. It means I'll probably have to return later. Well, oh, alright, whatever. The 
let me entertain you with my ranting for a little bit longer, but that's all right. I can go here now. <laughs> I gotta say that I'm, I'm actually not the biggest fan of the dungeon portion. Like it's kind of interesting because dungeons are a huge part of Legend of Zelda. But for me it was always, the open world exploration was always a lot more fun. That was where the fun was at. Always. Let's try go here now. Ah, okay, I see. I understand the layout now slightly. It's not stupid if I look at the map a little bit. Alright. If I figure out how to open the door, that would be very useful. It's possible that I might not be able to, which I think is the case here. Alright. I think it's, it's a lot to do with that complicated hallway we passed through earlier. This one here. Because this one is gonna be complicated. Anyway, I'm gonna go here and I'll see what happens. Whoa, the enemies here are quite uh, fearful. I mean, fearless, fearless. Quite annoying enemies to fight. Tech Titans. These are the weirdest ones. Even like the real life versions of them. You know, little spiders that just walk on water. Like, what's the deal with that? You can walk on water. That's odd. Anyway, I don't think I can pass through here because the pots are blocking the way. And of course, the mighty pot is... Um... Can I dive here, maybe? Ooh, alright. So that's the trick. Again, more Mario enemies. Here we have the squid thingies. I love how this Goomba is just hanging there. I don't know why I killed it. It wasn't harming anything. It was just chilling. Just going left and right. I like how he can just breathe underwater. Okay, I died. I probably need some sort of an item here. Good to know. I guess I'll be back later. Push. I, I, I bet the mic catches me uh, mashing the buttons on the controller, but I think that, uh, that that's definitely part of the experience. You might be wondering, I'm actually using a pro controller for the Nintendo Switch to play this. It's kind of disappointing, you can't actually use the D-pad for some reason. And it's really weird because the D-pad doesn't even do anything. It's just disabled. Which is just like, why? You know, give me the option to use the D-pad if I want to be old school. Why don't you let me use it? Come on. Just let me use it. I'm not hurting anyone by using it. So, yeah, that's that. Let me get other staff lows here. Alright, got him. I tried to hit it. Yeah, alright. Yeah, and I looked into it. Uh, these enemies, they weren't like that in the original version. You didn't require a shield to beat them. They were different back then. It doesn't look like this will open. So I need to find some other way. Probably need an item to get through here. Ha! <laughs> Look, I walked through it. Ba, 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 ba. Whoa, I fell into the pit. Again, fooling. Fortunately, I have two uh, fairies, so. That's funny thing about, you know, Zelda, because, like, the chances of me dying now are actually significantly lower as they were when I started the game. Simply due to the fact that now I have two bottles. 
which means, you know, two fairies, so... Alright, so this should be it. Gulp, you found me. You're a real pesky kid, you know that. Alright, so... Mm, he's pretty easy to beat. Fortunately, the shield does the trick that... The shield blocks his attacks, which makes it really easy. If, if the shield didn't block, then you would have to like go around, you know, dodge him and attack him after that. It would make it very tricky, but this is really easy. I can't beat you, I'm out of here! Alright, the lucky the good thing is I got him the second time. The bad thing is I have no idea where to go now, so that's kind of annoying. I have to find some other place to go. Mm, and this path didn't seem very productive. If I could find a way to open this door here. This is the entrance, like most likely, right? So I have no idea where to go now. That's a bit annoying. Let's try go here and now. I don't know. Oh wait, I think. Oh, damn! No, no, no. You see, you see, this is annoying. Like, I I purposely avoid collecting the triangle, just because it, it's a bother to have the text pop up. It's a bother to have the game flow being disturbed. It's not ideal. Okay, the good thing is I'll get to restore my health here. That's, that's quite useful actually. Here, here. I was here before, right? I'm a little bit going in circles right now. I have no idea where precisely to go. I'll have to explore a bit. This can be annoying in dungeons when you're lost slightly, but... You know, that's part of it. Being a bit confused, not knowing where to go. That's, that's life. That happens in life as well, so it's, it's only appropriate it happens in Zelda game a bit. Maybe not, but... How it is. Mm, yeah, I can't get anywhere here. My 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 path is blocked. Oh, the fairy's still here. This game is quite generous with the fairies. They don't disappear for quite a while. Anyway, the path is blocked now. Pop. Oh cool, the pot actually kills both of them. Let me look at the map. Okay, I have to go left. Right, I think the door closes when you go. Hmm, that's gonna be a risky one. I'm not sure if it's actually possible without getting hit. Probably pretty difficult, I guess. But I, I, I came through, so it's alright. Ah, oh god, it's another one of those. Yeah, I probably need an item to get through here, I assume. Maybe if I push this. Ah, oh, and the annoying thing is I'll have to get hurt again. Yeah, I, I see, I see. You need the item to get through them as well. Okay, I haven't been here to the left either. Oh, maybe if I defeat these guys, the path will open, hopefully. Hmm, they're quite annoying. Okay, perfect. Hmm, where do I go now? This is 
seems almost like a dead end. However, 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 these bombs they give you are a bit sussy. Why do they give you bombs in this room? That's, that's a bit suspicious. Okay, it has nothing to do with bombs. Okay, I have the beak now, so that might help. In older Zelda games, it was quite common to have like hidden walls. And like getting bombs, for example, like this, this could be a hint. Uh, but I'm pretty sure they stopped the practice by here. Like it, it was the worst in Zelda 2. I know there's one dungeon in Zelda 2. Well, there's actually multiple dungeons. Where you're supposed to go through the wall. You can pass through the wall in a couple of dungeons, actually. And there's really no hint that you're supposed to do that. I think maybe like in the village, some villagers will give you a hint, I think, maybe. But... You know, the wall looks the same. It's impossible to tell. And I remember, like, I I stumbled upon it by complete accident. I was like, oh, I'll try touching that wall. I guess it was, like, sixth sense or something. You know, by complete accident. Hmm. I'll go check to the right here if I skipped anything. Yeah, it's gonna be a long one, right? We, 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 we came to this part of the game where it can drag a little bit, but that's how it is. It's alright. And yeah, yeah, that's how it was. Um, you had to... And I don't know, it, it's, it's one of those cases where it, it was just super annoying. Because the thing is, it was also in Zelda 1. It also happened in Zelda 1 that there were blowable walls. That was quite common there. However, the difference was that in the Zelda, in Zelda 1 you had maps. So, while the wall looked the same, you couldn't tell that you could blow it up. You could look at the map, and the map could give you the hint. If you can't destroy... Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, I haven't figured that out. Oh, I'm actually running out of HP. So, here was the first one. Wait, how many times I, I fought him? I fought him two times, right? But now I don't remember. Did I fight him two times or three times? Mm, that's so stupid of me. I should have taken a screenshot, to be honest. I guess I'll go check. Oh, now I'm running out of HP. Alright, oh, I was here before. Right, 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 right. I'm out of uh, patience, so <laughs> losing HP for no reason. Oh, thank you. I needed this. Yeah, I'll just stumble around a bit. Hopefully I'll find something new. I can't go here yet, I know that. Can't go up here as well. I know that. So we'll just have to find a way around. Can't go here, maybe. Can I go up here? Here was the first one. I think I fought. Did I? Oh my god, my memory sucks. I guess it was a long day, so I can't remember it that well. Did I fight him two or three times? I don't remember. Now I'm stumbling a bit. But yeah, this is where it became. Oh, but Link's Awakening dungeons, I think this is one of the more complicated dungeons, if I remember correctly. In general, they're they're not quite as complicated. This is, you know... There's some dungeons in Oracle, Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons, which are really complicated. I remember there, there was an underwater one where there's also a thing with changing the level of water and thus adjusting the dungeon you know meaning that the dungeon changes so it takes a lot of 
spatial awareness for you to navigate through. Dive under where torch beams do cross. Dive under where torch beams do cross. I need to dive somewhere here. No, not here. There's no water here. Uh, I could use a ferry. Thank you. Alright, how about here? Nothing much here. I don't know, I guess I'll just go here again and hopefully I'll find something to do. I can jump on the Goomba. Look at how happy, look at the smile it has. It's such a happy Goomba. Why would I stomp it? There's no reason. I mean, really, Goombas, they just walk around. They're not really trying to hurt you. I have a piece of power now. Yay, it's like a tiny Triforce, I suppose. Do I have a key, maybe? No, I don't. Ah, oh, God, I have no idea where to go now. I can't go here. I came through here. go here again. There's no dungeon here, I believe. I'll try... I, I don't, I'm not sure how many times I fought that thing. Mm, I'll try go here. I wish my memory was better. I find like my 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 memory is not very good with like numbers. That's sort of my weakness. So remembering like concrete, you know, remembering raw numbers can be a bit of a problem sometimes for me. I really have to drill it in. So for me it's like how many times did I do this? I, I don't know, I have no idea. I'm not paying attention, I'm tired. So it's hard to say. Especially if I'm not paying attention. Hoppa. Slightly more down. Alright, I think I can get... I hope, I hope it's the right time this time. If not, then I don't know. I'll have to stumble around a bit more. And hopefully I'll find something. No, I was wrong. Can I use this to return... To the beginning of the dungeon. No, 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 don't do, this. don't do this, don't do this. I think if I do this. Yeah, 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 you can use it to go to the entrance. Oh, this can be actually quite useful. Although, yeah, I still don't know what to do, so... Doesn't help much! <laughs> That's how it is. That's Zelda for you, you know. I mean, maybe... Can I jump through this hole? Maybe I can. Let me try. Alright, so close! No, I don't think I can. I think two, four spots is too much. I think you need the item to get it. Pretty sure. Let me check the map. Mm. Can I go here? I mean, the, the only part I haven't figured out is this one here. And then there's the hint about diving. Die where where the torches cross, something like that. That's the only lead I have. So I gotta figure something out. Where the third room is. So now I will go here. Okay, if I go upstairs.
Yeah, okay, I get the hint. But I dived here before, didn't I? Maybe I can try it again. I don't know where else to go, right? Maybe, maybe there's the skeleton room. Oh, God. I guess I should have uh, played with a little bit more collected mind, especially dungeons. It can take a bit of attention sometimes. It, it can take some spatial awareness. No, I can't do anything here. I need the item first. Stupid owl giving me stupid hints. How does that physic work? Tell me, please. H how, how does that physic work? How does the water not go up here? If there is water all around here, shouldn't the pressure be... Maybe there's so much pressure inside that crevice, which doesn't allow the water to rise. I'm not a physics master, so... Or I guess it could be a Zelda thing as well. Hmm... There's gotta be a way to get that door to open. What if I, maybe if I try breaking? I don't think it's gonna help, but... I can try breaking these. They're really weird. They're like... Little tents, but it's almost like they're balloons in a way. I don't know, but I, it doesn't help me one bit. And I'm losing my HP because I'm not careful as well. Hmm. Ah, run, run, Link, run! Oh, damn it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you can see my fairy request. I'm not sure if the fairy heals you, to be honest. I mean, if it heals you automatically. That I am not completely sure. Oh, right, I forgot. You need to do this. I love how when it hits your shield, it just gets so dazzled and confused. It's like, what? Oh, wait, now the door... Wait, what? So the door is open but when you move it closes what on earth can I break these maybe if I throw magic powder on it no it doesn't help can I block it with the shield no it doesn't work can I dash into something? Can I bomb? Can I bomb it maybe? I see. Oh, come on, man. How does this door mechanism work? Like, somehow, the doors open when you kill all the, you know, when you kill all the creatures. How does that work? I guess it's supposed to be magic, I suppose, but it's, it's really weird. It's really easy to beat. Okay, I'll have to go into the first room now. I'll go see if there's anything here, but almost got him. Almost got it. It was frustrating, but... It was frustrating to find him, but we are there. So that's good at least. 
This is one example of how it's much easier on Nintendo Switch. I have a map now, beautiful. Anyway, I'm gonna use you to teleport back to the beginning. It's gonna make it a bit easier. Because, again, remember, on the old Game Boy, you have two buttons. So one button is the sword, which, if I remember correctly, it's uh, hardwired, you can't change it. But even if you can, it wouldn't help you much. The other one, it can be anything. So, imagine in, in the old game, right, you would actually have to swap between the shield, and once you would defeat him, you would have to press start, you would have to change the item, and then you could throw the bomb. Meaning that the game really incentivizes you to try to not use the shield, right? Because it just takes a lot more efforts to use the shield. So, in this regard, it was actually a lot harder. I hope I, I have to go here. Let me go like this. Here we go. And then I can uh, do this. Perfect, perfect. It's been so while since I played the old uh, Link to Awakening. I don't even remember if you had bottles in the old one, to be sure. I know you had the Witch, which gives you um, HP restore. Anyway, I have the Hookshot now. The Hookshot is one of the coolest item in the franchise, probably. And it's really cool that you get it here. It allows you to basically propel yourself towards the enemy. And I know in, in Link to the Past, you can even, like, pull some lighter enemies towards you. And it's, like, really cool, because, like, you pull the weak enemy to you, and then you just hit him with a sword. It's such, you know, it's, it's such a savage way to defeat the enemies. Like, get over here! And then you just hit him. And then he's done for. It's, it's an easy way to finish them. Alright, here actually we have the piece of power, which I will not get right now, maybe a bit later. Um, but now, actually wait, I have the hookshot now, so I have to get the other box there. I have to revisit a lot of uh, spots now since I have the hookshot, but you see like this. That, that's what I was supposed to do. And you get a hundred rupees. <laughs> You're happy. <laughs> you bet I am. God, I wish it was real life hundred rupees. I could use that right now. Yeah, I would be very happy. I can go up here. Up here. Um, wait, where did that take you, if I remember correctly? Didn't that take you to a part of the game where you needed hookshot? I think that's what it took you to. Oh my god, stupid fish! Idiot fish. It's knocked me in the water, that's so stupid of it. Ah! Bum, 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 bum. Ah. Come on, okay, perfect. 
Uh, but yeah, now I just have to revisit uh, parts of the dungeon I couldn't get to earlier. So it's gonna be a bit of a drag, but... It's not, like, impossible to do or anything. I just need to a little bit of patience here. Oh, but... It's really nice now that I have more uh, magic. It makes it a lot easier. Because the old amount of magic you could actually waste it quite quickly. That was quite annoying. Oh wait, I can talk to the owl. Maybe it'll have something interesting to say. Dive under where the torchlight pass. What a weird cryptic hint. But it's so weird because it's like... It's telling you to dive in the only spot where you can actually dive, so it's not actually that hard to figure out. You don't need to be a genius to figure it out. It's pretty obvious you're supposed to dive there because it's the only diveable spot, especially when the, the top, when the owl tells you. It wouldn't need to be so cryptic with information. It's pretty clear what you're supposed to do. I hope that if I get this one, it will open. No? Alright then. I think I should be able to go to the left. Let me use the map. It's gonna make it. Okay, 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 okay. So now. So this is what you're supposed to do. This makes sense, right? Because before it was like impossible to jump over it. And now we can also take their helmets away, which makes it a lot easier. It also stuns, stuns them if it hits them in the wrong side, so that's quite useful. And we have a small key, which is quite convenient, because it's exactly what I need right now. I also got arrows here, which is really a weird, because it's almost like a hint in a way, but there's nothing really I would need arrows for. I don't even have a bow. But I like it. It's so it's it's kind of subtle, but it's like you know, there's always there's always the option to steal that bow. You know, it's 980 rupees. Uh, why not just steal it? It's so easy. Ooh. I hope I can beat them without the bow. Probably with a hook shot. Um, my guess is you're supposed to hit it in the eye. Okay. Yes. 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 I guess the bow would make it easier. It's quite a cool enemy. But with me having two parries, it's not a challenge at all. I can afford to take a lot of hits. When it closes its eye, its eye, you can't hit it, but it's also blind, I suppose, so you can always walk around aimlessly. That's good for you. Alright, it exploded. But that's another thing I, I always found peculiar in Zelda games. It's like, in video games in general, so when you defeat the enemy, it like explodes into oblivion, right? And I guess that's supposed to be like more humane. It doesn't get dismembered or something, it's, its corpse isn't lying around. So I guess it's supposed to be more family friendly or something. But really it's like... 
Isn't the notion of you just exploding into nothing even more savage? You know, isn't it? There's no body for your loved ones to bury and to remember you by. Nothing, you just explode into oblivion. It's kind of like if you remember in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like in Yu-Gi-Oh, there was always... Always stuff going on. You know, like the, the characters were always in incredibly dangerous situations. That had very realistic chances of, you know, them getting killed by being in. And when they were, they were making the cartoon and they were like dubbing it into English, right? Slovenian as well <laughs> they would like censor it by instead of you dying or getting your feet chopped off for example you would be sent to this mysterious shadow realm but isn't that even more scary in a way like isn't that even more savage you don't even get, you know, a, a way... You don't even get to die. You get to be banished into this mysterious shadow realm where you might be stuck forever. It might even be a fate worse than death, for all you know. How is that supposed to be better? I have no idea. It's really odd. Anyway, oh, this dungeon is annoying. I'm 50 minutes in already. I'm pretty sure it can be done a lot faster. I've been going around aimlessly quite a lot. Uh, but it, it is a slightly annoying one, simply because you do have to revisit a lot of the areas. It's not very linear, linear progress. You have to go back and forth. Which means that it takes a lot more spatial awareness for you, if you want to be able to navigate around it. You know, because like here, down here, I don't have much spatial awareness right now, especially uh, when you go like in a tunnel, right? In this case, the map doesn't really work. So you can't really rely on it. You can only rely on yourself in this case. Okay, well, I've been here before, right? That makes sense. What about up here? Ah, alright, I think I'm supposed to go here now. This was the part where... There's a chest here. Oh my god, you see that? He knocked me out of the air. That's quite savage. At least I have 50 rupees, which is very nice. Ah, and there's a chest here, which I'm glad I have it. Which I let I got it. It has a key as well, so now you'll have to return to a room where there used to be a key. Well, you actually have markers here. So it's pretty obvious I have to get here somehow. Because this is where. But I'll need the boss key first, so it's not quite as easy. Hopefully I can get it here, maybe. Well, it's rupees, which is nice, but I would prefer to gotten a boss key. Oh, I don't need to fight you. I mean, fortunately, the door system has is kind enough to stay open. But there's nothing here, so it doesn't help me. Hum, 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 hum. I think I'm supposed to dive now. Because before, when I dived, it didn't really lead me anywhere, right? I have to do it now. Oh, run, Ling, run! Shum. Come on, dive, Link. Oh, B, right. How silly of me. Da, 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 da. Poor uh, squid. They don't stand a chance against my sword. I am the fear of squids. 
I have another item now. Oh, I have the nightmare key. That's beautiful. That's good to know. Means I'm a step closer to the end, which is very nice. Alright, where do I go now? Mm -hmm. Let me open the map. So, I need to get here. Which means uh, it's gotta be one of the staircases. I'm gonna try this one. It's a bit of a... I don't know if it's the right one. I don't remember. I don't have good memory right now. Uh, let's go down here. Link, link. Welcome to the Legend of Zelda, an exciting adventure of trying to remember which room you were at before and... You know, well, the game graphically wise really does look a lot better. In a way, it's like still... Every single room looks kind of the same, so in a way it hasn't gone that far. Textures are still all very similar. Oh, I'm here now. Okay, looks like this is it. I just gotta go to the right now. Uh, actually, if you don't mind, I would like to get a, a fairy here. That would be uh, very useful. Uh, these guys are easy to beat. You just need to hit them whack them with your sword. And this guy, you just spray him with some dust. Makes sense, right? Some dust on it and... It's normal. Alright, here we are. Bluff. I love how it disappears. Makes sense, right? There's a block with a keyhole. You stick the keyhole in and when you do that, it like disappears into nothing. Here we are. S -s -s so, you are the outsider. I shall eat you. He said you're the outsider trying to wake the windfish. So it's quite interesting that it appears that the enemy bosses are aware of the fact that you're trying to awake the windfish. And, you know, here it's made for the... Uh, here it's made pretty obvious that they are aware of that fact and they don't want you to do that, which is quite interesting. I think you're probably supposed to give it a bomb. It's a cool enemy though, I gotta say. Mm, although it's quite frustrating. just gotta wait for it to appear at the right spot because no way I can run fast enough you know yep no that's not what you're supposed to do hmm what if I hit this thing no that's not it I mean, usually you're supposed to use the item you find. I mean, it, it looks like it would eat the bomb, right? That's the motion it does. That's, you know. Look, the bomb actually stops to count down when you pick it up. Ugh, I don't know. I supposed to do that? I'm not sure actually. Uh, but I don't have any other items. Maybe if I try to whack it with uh, the grappling hook. That it's like maybe you can drag it, drag it out. 
Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. That's what you're supposed to do. Makes sense, makes sense. But it really looks like it would eat the bomb, because it does the exact motion that the enemies before it. So you can't do much besides just waiting on one side, because no way I can catch the other side. Ah, all right, but you only get one shot. You won't be able to pull it back again. Well, it's, it's kind of weird. No, it does, it does. You actually pull the tail as well, so we can see it's connected. It's pretty easy, though, because... Uh, yeah, you gotta get around it, though, to be able to hit it. Yeah, okay. It's not that hard because the tail can't really reach you if you just chill out here, so... That's good. Just gotta wait. Yeah, but I like it how if you pull it, the tail will get dragged down. That's, that's pretty sweet. But the fact that the tail can't reach you, it... it it really makes it a bit easy. You don't even have to jump over it. Otherwise it would be like that uh, rope jump game, right? Oh, but <laughs> I, just, I pressed the wrong button, of course. How silly of me. I knew it would come from there. Whoa, what the heck? I didn't see that coming. Oh wait, no! There's multiple in it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What the heck does it... It's really weird though, because every time I pulled it, the tail would be pulled as well. And so it seemed like it was one creature, but... Now it's uh, pretty obvious that it's not one creature. There's gotta be multiple, right? Because I already killed one. Unless it has two heads, I suppose. That would also kind of make sense, but it's not really. It would be a very weird creature, then, in this case. Ah! You need to be... S oh, but he's actually really good at uh, grinding down my HP. I'm already at three hearts only, so... I need to be very... ...careful now. I mean, you just gotta be patient, that's the key. That's really the key. If it's not a good situation, then just don't attack, just wait. Because otherwise, you're gonna get hurt, and you're not gonna be able to hit him anyway. So, impatience really doesn't pay. So just wait, you know. If he attacks on the left side, that's life, you can't do anything about it. Ooh. And yeah, just use the sheet. Just use the... <laughs> okay, that was funny. Can't do much about it. And even, you know, if the tail is in a very awkward position that's gonna hit you, then also don't bother. It's not worth it. Like, here, just, just wait, whatever. You're not gonna be able to hit him anyway if you get hit by the tail, so... It really doesn't matter. You know, it's too far away. And yeah, use the shield. Shield is pretty impervious. Should be one more, I suppose. Alright. Opa, 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 be careful. Its movement is now slightly less predictable like it was before. I gotta be a bit more careful. It speeds up and slows down a bit randomly. Alright, it bites again. What a weird enemy. What a weird creature this is. But it's so odd, because at this point it seems like 
because at this point, I don't know, like, it's so random, like... Oh, damn, I only have two hearts left, shit. I gotta be careful now. <laughs> I gotta be careful and then I get hit. Looks like I'm actually gonna die. I need to be super careful now. Oh. I actually died. And I was like so smart, like ha ha ha, the game is so easy at this point, it's impossible for me to die. I was just not careful. That happens. Whatever. It's like, whatever dude, whatever. I need to get to the left. Ah, oh, that's so stupid of me. Well, the thing is, it's not a hard enemy, but I don't have patience for him. That's the problem. It really is about patience. If you do it right, you shouldn't get hit. But if you don't have patience, like here. There was no reason for me to get hit right here, but I had no patience. That was the problem. So I'll have to be really patient, but there should be one more fairy. Up. <laughs> Again, no patience. I'm not patient, that's life. Patience. Yeah, patience is uh, it's very important. That's how it is, even if you might not like it, which I certainly don't. It's much more fun to get things instantly, but you usually don't get them. And if you're impatient, you end up wasting even more time, because I could have been out of here already. It's a good thing I didn't try to get... Uh, it's a good thing I had a small pause in the middle. At least I'll have one fairy. I could go back and forth. I think most likely it should respawn if I go in here and back up. Because having two fairies would be useful. Just it would help me being in pay with my impatience problem. No, it didn't respawn. All right, whatever. I guess I'll just have to be patient in this case. <laughs> Fuck! I misclicked and I wasted the fairy. Shit. I'll have to be really patient now. Mm, but I can do it. I'll just have to be patient. So just hang in there on the left side. You know, right now it's not the best time. Just wait. Now is gonna be a good time. Ah. Yes, this is a good time. Whoa! Caught me off guard. I didn't realize it changes uh, direction. Good to know. So be careful. After you hit him, hide to the left. Because you don't know if it's gonna change directions or not. Careful. Be mindful of the pattern. It's alright if you can't hit it. It's not a race. Zelda will wait. Or Marin, I suppose. Right now, you know, there's no point rushing it. If it looks like you're gonna get hit, then. Better avoid it, better wait. Right. 
Yeah, go around it. Okay. Now, now that I know what... I still get hit, though. I have no patience, that's the problem. Oh, uh. Wrong uh, alignment. Yeah. It's a shame you, you can't know from which side it's gonna come out. Because the longer you drag it, the more hits you get. That, that's useful. Whoa! Yeah, that's tricky. It just explodes. It's really weird. You pull it out and then it's like a remote bomb or something. It just... It just goes boom. Yeah, you see, I got so many hits because I pulled it out. Whoa! So just hang out in the corner with your shield up. That's the safest. Wait for it, and then switch sides. Patiently. It's not a race. thing about this game is that in a way there's really no reason to go explore the dungeons right I mean you could just happily hang out with Marin on the island there's no reason for you to wake up the wooden fish I mean all right it was revealed to us in a hint that the hero will die if the wind fish does not wake up so, after, you know, doing some dungeons, you will come to that realization. You, you actually have to do it. Uh, but you don't know that if you don't do a couple of dungeons first, right? If you could just... Tsk, tsk. You don't see to know what kind of island this is. Hehe. <laughs> what a fool. Hehe. <laughs> Because, okay, like, doing these dungeons, it, it looks like there's something behind it. There are these enemies who seem like they don't want you to wake up the windfish. It's not really clear why, but... I don't know, like, they didn't do anything. You know, why would you kill them? Wind marimba. For all you know, this warm thing just hanged out in the dungeon. Didn't damage anyone, right? I mean, honestly, I think Link should just stay on the Koholind island. Cause it's silly Zelda, she just keeps getting... kidnapped. Shrine. Dot dot dot. The island's secret is in the shrine. All right, the time is half past midnight, which means I should just have the enough time to go into the shrine. So if you remember, I went into the, the shrine before, I defeated the enemy in the shrine, but I did not have the magic powder, so I could not learn the secret of the island. So join us next time, we will go learn what the heck the secret of this island is. <laughs>